Welcome to The Wrap. I'm Alex Coffey here to take you through today's market action. The S&P 500 closed at a new all-time high, while the Nasdaq led the market day with a 1.1% gain. The Russell fell under the flat line late in the day, and the Dow slipped three-tenths of a percent. Communications, services, consumer discretionary, and technology all rallied by more than 1%, but they were the only sectors to show gains. Utilities closed down 2%, and real estate also finished lower by one and one half percent. Turning to stocks on the move, Zscaler is trading down despite a 26% year-over-year revenue boost in its latest earnings. Deferred revenue grew 27% and calculated billings added 13%. The company also beat earnings expectations and raised its full-year guidance for 2025. Zscaler's CEO says all metrics exceeded the company's guidance and credits AI for its growth. He calls Zscaler the world's largest cybersecurity cloud, adding we are driving strong growth. Intel announced that CEO Pat Gelsinger resigned from the position effective December 1st. CFO David Zinsner and General Manager of Client Computing Michelle Johnson Holthouse will serve as interim co-CEOs. Intel stock slipped more than 60% since Gelsinger became CEO in 2021. Supermicro rallied back above $40 a share after an independent special committee found no evidence of management fraud. The company adds it adopted all of the committee's recommendations and began its search for a new CFO and accelerated its search for chief compliance officer and general counsel. The committee found Supermicro's previous accounting firm's resignation statements were not supported by the facts of the investigation. Tech takes over tomorrow after hours for earnings. Salesforce and Marvell are on deck to report. We'll also get the latest jolts print out in the morning. That'll do it for The Wrap. I'm Alex Coffey. Remember to tune in 24-7 to schwabnetwork.com.